Hello chess lovers, Sonic here and in today's video we will analyze a game which was played by 11 year old David Navarra. To be more precise, at the time of this game Navarra was 11 years 4 months old. His opponent is his compatriot Peter Polak. The game dates back to year 1996 and was played in Czech city Paradubice. Navarra opened up with e4 to which Polak answered with c5. Ok, the good old Sicilian defense is on the board and then Polak goes for neither variation. Here we have this one's classical main line, queen c7, bishop d3. Well, usually since black allowed, white is capturing on f6 and then is playing queen d2, preparing castling queenside. But Navarra played bishop d3 and only after knight c6 he went for uh, bishop takes f6. Pawn takes f6 and Navarra also traded off the knights on c6. Queen goes to f3, bishop d7 and white castled queenside. Actually there is nothing wrong with black's shattered pawn structure. Usually black is leaving his king in the center. And this pawn shield is serving as a very solid uh, protective shield. Meanwhile, black tried to create some problems for white on the queen side, but white is holding well. And okay, Navarra saw a hanging pawn on a6 and boldly won it, not being afraid that he is exposing his queen side. Sorry, in here, Navarra, instead of moving his bishop, he first went for f takes e6 and only then moved back his bishop to e2. King e7, rook d3, well, looks like that white wants to double up his rooks on the d file, but then queen h3 followed, hitting on h7, h6 and rook f1. What's now? What's in Navarra's mind? Let's see. So far, looks like that black has a very solid defense, and there are no, I don't know, weaknesses that white can target. Queen g3. Well, look after rook d3. It looks logical to play rook d1, and provoke black to go for d5, thus somewhat uh, exposing black king. But instead, we have. Queen g3, f5 by black, so black is finally opening up this diagonal for the queen and for the bishop. He takes f5 by Navarra and a terrible mistake by Polak, queen c5. Better was just capturing on g3 and then he takes f5. Instead we have queen c5, now the threat is bishop takes c3 followed by rook takes g3. But Black missed a sharp and mind-blowing tactic by 11-year-old David Navarra. It's white to move. How will you proceed? Here we go, guys. Navarra played. Queen takes g7 check. How do you like this beauty? This is a brutal queen sacrifice which is blowing apart Black's defense. Check. King f8, f takes g7, check, king takes g7, and this rook on the third rank is just in time. There it goes, rook g3, check, king h8, rook h f6, sorry, hitting on h6, and black resigned. Well, you can protect the pawn on h6. Prevent check made at the cost of giving up your queen, but in the end of the day, you are a... Uh, Peace down and this is an easy victory for white. That's why enough is enough after rook f6 black resigned. Uh, well, there, I have such an impression that at some point David Navarra lost the thread of the game. But this final combination put everything in its place, you know, I liked it a lot. Feel free to share this game with your friends as well, let them know about this beauty and let us know what you think about Navarra's strength, how good he was at age 11. In the end, the chess problem for you, the task is to mate in two, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.